It's quite a beautiful city with friendly people in it. Sort of certain edge. An exciting place. Incredibly multicultural. One of the best cities in the UK. We're one of the FTSE 100 companies. We've grown every year in our existence. We knew we could put the business anywhere in the UK. And boom, here we are. We employ around 400 people now. There's a real go-getter attitude that I love about the Welsh people. In terms of quality of life and the lifestyle that we can offer the employees, it's a fabulous city. It's a hidden city that people come to Cardiff and say, wow, I didn't realise that that's what it was like. Opera, cinemas. St David's too will actually present a world-class shopping experience. Shopping Chiara is uh, better than Milano. It's an easy city to get around in. It takes me less than 20 minutes to get to work in the morning. Great for cycling, you know, you can get from A to B really fast. 15 minutes to get home in the evenings. We have some of the top universities in the United Kingdom. Some of our schools are probably within the top half dozen in the world. It's a great place for young people. Cardiff's always on the go. It really punches above its weight. It's a great place to be a student, but it's also a great place to work and be an academic. Lots to do, lots to see. Got something for everybody. There are much better personal relationships that you can build with the Assembly government, with local councillors, with business people, because everything is on a human scale here. What impresses me was Cardiff's commitment to sport. On top of the, uh, the Millennium Stadium, we've also got the Swalik Stadium, brand new Lekwith Stadium. There is so much that's on offer from a cultural point of view, almost to the point, I think, of it being unique for a city of its size. The hotel accommodation is plentiful and very good. The conference venues, excellent. I don't think people quite realise how much of a media centre Cardiff is. There are so many media opportunities here. All I can do is recommend Cardiff to anybody in the world to come here. There's been so much change and it feels like um, it's still evolving, still changing, and I think that's terribly exciting. It's the best city. <laughs> can't be Cardiff. It's a great spot, great people, great town. Yeah, we love it. Well, the reason I chose Cardiff University is, well, mainly because it's the best university in Wales. And uh, I'm a local boy from Wales myself, and I was keen to stay close to my family and also get a good degree. Uh, what attracted me to Cardiff University was the fact that it boasts an atmosphere for international students. And that combined with high quality education, it makes an attractive place to be. I think what attracted me was the really good academic record of the university. You know, it is, it is a Russell Group University and that really appealed to me as an undergraduate. I think the thing I enjoy most about living in the city of Cardiff is the fact that there's always something going on. The university has become part of the city and that's what makes it special. I would say it's, it's perfect as in it's busy as you've got everything you'll ever want shops wise and to be a student and to live like in a city then it's not too busy that you can't, you know, there's a park nearby, you can just take it easy and have quiet days as well. It's not go, go, go all the time, but it's not completely boring and dead as some places are. I think the fact that it's capital city has a lot going on um, and the fact that it's very compact and it's actually quite cheap to live in as a city um, compared to most of the other cities in the UK. As a student, obviously, that's quite important. Nightlife Cardiff is awesome. They've got a few different streets and strips which have got club after club on them and bar after bar, like uh, big clubs like Oceana and uh, bars like Varsity. Uh, and it kind of caters to everything you're looking for. There's places where you can listen to you know, pop music, the chart stuff, and there's places you can listen to indie music. And there's just plenty of things you can do. You could even go to the theatre and uh, watch shows. There's lots come to Cardiff. It's like city for student nightlife, just because you've just got so many big brand clubs as well as small, nice, quaint bars. 
Um, you can go like to nice little wine bars or cocktail bars, or you can just go to your local student pub. I really love spending time with friends down in Cardiff Bay. It's a great part of the city and uh, it's kind of a, a bit of a hidden gem. It's fantastic. You can have drinks, enjoy the nightlife, go bowling or even go to the cinema. It's not just drinking, it's not just clubbing. You know, there are things like the comedy club, there are coffee shops that stay open late, there are restaurants. St David's too has its own quarter, which is quite, um, which is new and quite exciting. Um, Cardiff has a new shopping centre, which is really good. So there's loads of new big brands and things. But at the same time, if you want to find something unique or different, maybe cheaper, you've got those arcades and things, which are really good. Campus is so close to the city centre, it's, it's within 10 minute walk to, um, to the main shopping street. Every brand you can think of is in St David's too. It's technology, food, clothes, everything. All the main stuff is in Cardiff. It's a big, busy capital city. On the weekend, there's nothing I like doing better than heading over to one of Cardiff's great sporting venues, whether it's to watch the rugby, the football, or the cricket over at Swaylek Stadium. Cardiff is an amazing city to watch sport, just for the Millennium Stadium. Uh, you can get cheap tickets in advance, so you can actually go in and watch it yourself. Or you can go to your local Welsh pub and, and really get into sport. Wales play rugby, I've watched them play football, I've watched Cardiff play football and rugby. Uh, they're always, every time you go, the atmosphere is electric in Wales. In the summer, there's no better place to be than uh, Butte Park with a picnic, a few friends, and maybe a barbecue on the go and a good paddle in the tap. There are parks, you know, pretty much anywhere in the city um, that you can go and relax in. You can, you know, grab a bite to eat and then just head out into the into the parks. So close to the beaches and the sea that you, you know, if you wanted to surf or if you wanted to kiteboard or even just walk along the beaches, there's stuff you could do uh, which would involve the seaside. And even a um, uh, new centre of white water, like kayaking and rafting, has opened down the bay, which you could do, which is quite alternative, but people are interested in. Cardiff and the surrounding area is a perfect playground for me. Whether it's open water swimming, uh, followed by a little bit of surfing down in Porth Call, or um, biking up in the mountains near Cumcarn and Caerphilly, and running around Butte Park, it's the perfect place to be an athlete. When friends or family visit, it's really good to go to the Gower because it has the beach if it's sunny. Then even if it's rainy or snowing, it's really good to go to the Brecon Beacons because you can go sledging or you can have a nice mountain walk, so both places are really cool. I think Brecon Beacons is definitely the place to be because there's so much to look at and so much of exploring and travelling to do. So it's the best place to be with when friends come along or when family's there. I think what really makes Cardiff stand out from the crowd is that it's such a friendly city. Vibrant. Lovable, simply lovable, yeah. People on the street smiling, happy. It's just that sort of place. I could have studied anywhere in the world. But I chose Cardiff. I learned to work in an international environment. When I graduate, I will have contacts all around the world. The university rewarded my hard work with a scholarship. And what a beautiful place to study.
party is a modern and exciting place to study. There is so much to do here. I always feel safe, and the support is fantastic. I work with cutting-edge technology, and now that I'm home, that knowledge is changing lives. What I'm learning will help me do the same. My degree from Cardiff prepared me for a career working on multi-million dollar engineering projects. My lecturers are leaders in their fields and my education is informed by their world-class research. North Wales is an ideal travel therapy trip because there are so many unique things to do and experience where you get great value for your money and the locals are warm and friendly, welcoming you to this very special destination. Here are my top 10 things you shouldn't miss. Number one, exploring the castles. The castles in North Wales are magical, dating back hundreds of years. Favorites include Bomeris Castle, Penryn Castle, Carnarvon Castle, and Conway Castle. Number two, staying on the island of Anglesey, where Prince William and Catherine, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have happily lived for the past few years. Highlights include walking down to this picturesque lighthouse and along the Wales Coast Path, leading to Clandwin Island, one of the most beautiful places in all of Wales. Also not to miss, visiting the village with one of the longest names in the world. This one you have to see to believe. Number three, checking out the historic town of Bomeris that gets extra cool points for having its own castle and the ye old Bulls Head Inn dating back to 1472. Number four, visiting Conway where castle walls about a mile long surround part of the town and are said to be some of the finest surviving medieval fortifications in all of Great Britain. This is also where you'll find Britain's smallest house. It's only six feet wide. Number five, Enjoy the laid-back pub scene and a Welsh beer, and try some local favorites like fish and chips and mussels and Welsh beef. Number six, to learn more about the thriving culinary scene, head to Bodnot, a new Welsh food center, where you can take cooking classes, and the focus is on supporting local Welsh farmers and using all fresh ingredients. Number seven, don't miss trying some of the famous Welsh cheese. One of my favorites, Cat Cow's Goat Cheese, where you can go and visit the farm and learn more about the cheese making process. Number eight, head to the mountains and drive through Snowdonia National Park that's famous for walking, hiking, and climbing. Number nine, stop at the historic Trevru Woolen Mills where you can do a self-guided tour. It's one of the few remaining mills that still make traditional Welsh bedspreads, tweeds, knitting wools, and other products. And finally, number 10, Listen to a Welsh men's choir, an important part of Wales music history. I caught a rehearsal of the Colwyn Bay Choir, and they were so inspiring. From North Wales, I'm Karen Shaler, editor of TravelTherapyTrips.com. Until next time, safe travels. <laughs>